The plasma membrane of all animal cells has the Na plus K plus ATPase. The Na plus K plus ATPase is a P-class ion pump. The Na plus K plus ATPase is a tetramer. The Na plus K plus ATPase has subunit composition alpha 2 beta 2. In this video, only one alpha subunit and one beta subunit of Na plus K plus ATPase are shown. The alpha subunit is considered as the catalytic subunit of Na plus K plus ATPase. The beta subunit is also called as glycosylated beta polypeptide. Glycosylated beta polypeptide helps newly synthesized alpha subunits to fold properly in the ER or endoplasmic reticulum. Glycosylated beta polypeptide apparently is not involved directly in ion pumping. The Na plus K plus ATPase is a single polypeptide chain having four domains. The first domain is called as the transmembrane domain or TM. It anchors the protein to the plasma membrane of the cell. The transmembrane domain has three Na plus binding sites and two K plus binding sites. The second domain is called as nucleotide binding domain denoted as capital N. It is present in the cytosol. It functions as kinase. It has an ATP binding site. The third domain is called as phosphorylation domain denoted as capital P. It is also present in the cytosol. It has an aspartate amino acid which is denoted as ASP. It functions as substrate. The fourth domain is called as the actuator domain denoted as capital A. It is also present in the cytosol. It connects two of the membrane spanning helices. It functions as phosphatase. In the E1 conformation, the three high affinity Na plus binding sites and two low affinity K plus binding sites located in the membrane spanning domain face the cytosol. The intracellular concentration of Na plus ion is nearly equal to 12 millimolar. The Km for binding of Na plus ions to the three Na plus binding sites is 0 0.6 millimolar. So the Km value is lower than intracellular Na plus ion concentration. As a result, three Na plus ions binds to three Na plus binding sites in Na plus K plus ATPase. One cytosolic ATP then binds to the ATP binding site in the nucleotide binding domain of Na plus K plus ATPase. This bound ATP is hydrolyzed to form an ADP and a phosphate group. The phosphate group is transferred to a specific aspartate amino acid in the phosphorylation domain. The ADP is then released into the cytosol. A high energy acyl phosphate bond can be found in between transferred phosphate group and aspartate amino acid in the phosphorylation domain. The Na plus K plus ATPase then changes its conformation from E1 to E2 with three bound Na plus ions. In this E2 conformation, a low energy phosphoester bond can be found between the transferred phosphate group and aspartate amino acid in the phosphorylation domain. The transition from E1 to E2 conformation 
forms two high affinity K plus binding sites. These two high affinity K plus binding sites are accessible to the exoplasmic phase of Na plus K plus ATPase. The extracellular K plus ion concentration is 4 millimolar. But the Km for K plus binding to two K plus binding sites is 0 0.2 millimolar. So the Km value is lower than the extracellular K plus ion concentration. As a result, two extracellular K plus ions bind to the two high affinity K plus ion binding sites. Also during E1 to E2 transition, three bound Na plus ions become accessible to the exoplasmic phase. At the same time, the affinity of the three Na plus binding sites for Na plus ions decreases. So the Na plus ions are transported outward through the Na plus K plus ATPase despite high extracellular Na plus ion concentration. The phosphorylated aspartate in the phosphorylation domain then undergoes dephosphorylation. As a result, an inorganic phosphate or PI is released into the cytosol. This dephosphorylation causes a change in conformation from E2 to E1. In E1 conformation, 2K plus binding sites with their bound 2K plus ions and freed Na plus binding sites are exposed to the cytosolic phase of Na plus K plus ATPase. In the E1 conformation, then two bound K plus ions are released into the cytosol. Now, this E1 conformation of Na plus K plus ATPase is ready to transport three more Na plus ions from the cytosol to the exterior and two more K plus ions from the exterior to the cytosol. Please like, subscribe and share.